Hi guys, it's me. Just wanted to jump on real quick and first off say hello to everybody. So, hello. And I love you. I love you. Um, and I just thought I would give you this week's um, latest and greatest update. So today is Tuesday, July 24th. And I had my um, first appointment with well, my first appointment since radiation treatments have stopped last week, which it's been a week today. Yay! I'm so excited um, of no radiation treatments. Oh, it is just so nice. I can still feel it in my body and still have the side effects and stuff, but it's just nice not to have to get up and go do that five days a week. But anyways, so I had an appointment this morning with my um, regular oncologist, and I went and I talked to him because he was wanting to see me after treatment, and he said that... As always, they're kind of, they're never really sure what to do with me. They call me a medical mystery um, because my um, cancer and tumor can't be biopsied because of where it is. They just kind of have to wing it. <laughs> they have to go off of everything else, my scans, you know, the history, the location, the symptoms, every, everything else that we have available. I'm um, just not an actual biopsy. So, but they're never sure what to do with any cancer. Cancer is unknown. I mean, even to oncologists. So. You know, it, it's always an unknown. Even when we treat it, sometimes it does what it's supposed to. Sometimes it doesn't. So you just never know. But um, the appointment actually went great. He is absolutely um, okay in in agreement with my radiology oncologist at the treatment center about let's do in a watch and wait phase. So my first scan is scheduled probably for sometime mid October, which will be done at the treatment center. And that'll be my three month scan since treatment. And then they'll do another one three months after that, which will be six months. Um, as of right now, my oncologist this morning said that he does not want any machines touching me or near me for eight weeks at the earliest, and that unless just medically necessary. Um, he really wants the high doses of radiation that I had to settle down in my body and just for my body to kind of try to level out, especially since I'm still having a lot of not real fun side effects. Um, but that's okay. I mean, I'm they're, you know, they, whatever. It is what it is. But um, anyway, so I was very happy. So right now, there are still no orders in place for um, another round of radiation yet or a round of chemo. So I think that is just fabulous. And in all honesty, um, at the three-month mark and the six-month mark, like I've said from day one, if those scans even show the same, the tumor has not grown, then to me, that's wonderful. Um, maybe that means that the radiation is at least stopping it from growing and advancing. And I'm okay with that. Um, so that's that's all good with me. So that was great news. He is going to uh, have a little powwow with my uh, neurosurgeon, and they're going to get together and kind of see what he feels like we should do next, and if, make sure he's okay with the watch and wait. And basically, as long as he's okay with it, which I'm sure he will be, um, that's what we're going to do. I'm just going to get to enjoy life for the next three months, and then I'll have a scan, and then enjoy for another three months, and have a scan. And then at that six-month mark, we'll decide, you know, what to do. Um, and but like I said, as of right now, there are no other orders in place for any more treatment yet. Yay. Hope it stays that way. Unless things were to change or, um, you know, he did tell me that if in that time frame, whether it be, you know, next week or next three months or next six months, if my symptoms and side effects worsen or new ones um, start, you know, arriving and, or arising, I'm sorry. And they arrive too. They go away and they arrive. Um, that to call the office immediately and that we very well might need to go ahead and reconsider scanning early and just checking things out. But right now, no scans for at least 60 days, but we don't have one set for until 90 days. So less things change, 90 days. Then we'll scan again at six months and just kind of come up with the game plan. And right now, my opinion on things is unless we see this thing grow or move or do something it shouldn't do and that we don't want it to do, I really don't know if I want to dive right into another round of radiation or chemo right now. I really kind of feel like maybe we should wait until, not until, in the event that it was to try to get ugly on us and we need to get it in control, let's save those treatments for then. If it's staying the same and at least we're keeping it not growing, um, even though I still have all the pain, all the side effects, you know, 85 to 90% of my spinal fluid flow is blocked, which sucks and causes a lot of problems um but at least if it's not growing i just don't think that we should hit it with another treatment but that's just kind of what i feel um they're the doctors they're the specialists 
they're the surgeons, this is their field, this is their specialty. If they say otherwise, then I'm gonna listen to that. But in the meantime, I'm just gonna enjoy life. Um, I am still doing all of my research into the um, herbal route, holistic route, organic route, all of the above. Um, so if there's anybody out there watching this, especially that is dealing with brain cancers, um, mine's a brain and a spinal cord, so either or, um, astrocytomas, anything along that line. If there's anything that you su could suggest that I take, start taking, I am taking a lot of things, just like your simple multivitamins, um, B12, um, D3s, iron, calciums, um, turmeric, there's a couple other ones. So I'm doing the basics, but if there's anything out there, I am open to any and all suggestions. Um, I'm also looking into, well, I currently actually have a couple of different um, strains of CBD oils um, that uh, people actually have handmade for me. So I'm trying those out along with some other different things. So, um, and yes, I've informed the doctor of this. Hang on. I apologize. We came to fish and exercise on the back side of Dallas Ludfield Airport, so the planes are constantly taking off. We're used to it, but those of you who don't live around here may not be. But anyways, um, so I just wanted to, like I said, jump on and kind of update you guys and let you know that I am doing absolutely great. Like I said, today was a wonderful day. Just the fact that they said, okay, you know, I, I, I'm just happy that I went in there and they didn't say, so when's the next round of radiation? So let's do chemo. I was like, yes, because I just don't want to do that. And yes, I know I have cancer and yes, I know it's in two different places. Or it's one place, but it affects two different areas. But again, jumping into treatment is just something you don't want to do unless you absolutely have to. And even though I have cancer, I am still healthy. I'm still good. Um, and in the areas where I'm not the best, I'm improving and I'm working on every day and I'm getting stronger. But overall, I'm a strong cookie. So, but with that said, I hope that you guys have a wonderful week. It's not supposed to be as bad here in the DFW area with the triple digit heat. So, getting out and enjoy it while you can, but just be safe, stay hydrated. Um, again, if anybody out there at all watching this, if y'all have any suggestions, um, if you've had cancer, if you have cancer, a family member, loved one, neighbor, anybody, and you guys know things that helped them, um, yeah, of course, um, please pass it on to me and message me, text me, call me if you know me personally, whatever, find a way to get a hold of me. Just, I'm open to try anything. So like I said, I've got this next six months, you know, is kind of my time to devote to fighting cancer my way and Mother Nature's way and with the things that, you know, God and the green earth has provided us. We've done the modern medicine and I'm sure we will go back to that at some point, but in between, you know, let's see. I mean, let's see. I, how did people deal with cancers before modern medicine was around, you know? I mean, so let's get real. Why not go back to our roots and try it? It can't hurt people. But I love you guys as always. I'm going to stop. I'm going to shut up. It's getting boring. Blah, blah, blah. Cancer, blah, blah, blah. Medicine, blah, blah, blah. Treatments, blah, blah, blah. Organic, yeah. Thank you guys so much. Oh, and I just wanted to tell you guys that my oldest daughter, Molly, um, surprised me last night. And she texted me and said, hey, um, we wanted to invite y'all to, to join us for dinner. So we went to dinner where she works. She works for Bob's Steakhouse. Um, very, very nice steakhouse in Grapevine. And we had the best time ever. They were so awesome. They set up a special table with decorations and candles. It was uh, me, Molly, mom, my husband, and Molly's boyfriend, Alex. Um, all the servers, um, hostesses, managers, everybody uh, came over and congratulated me. On, it was kind of a little uh, post celebration for last week's treatment graduation. Um, and when I graduated treatment, you guys know I got to hit the gong. They actually brought a huge pan out of the kitchen, actually a big pot, huge pot out of the kitchen and turned it upside down and gave me a huge spoon and said, okay, we know this is a nice restaurant. We know this is going to be super loud, but you bang that gong away, girl. And I did. And they were just, they were so awesome. So awesome. They made me feel just more loved than ever. So, and my baby girl set that all up. I, I have the absolute greatest children in the world. Molly and Madison, I love you. And you girls are my life, my world, my everything. And you know it. You have been from the day you were inside of me. So, 
I know you're grown-ups now, but you're still mommy's little babies, and you always will be. And hopefully neither one of them will happen to watch this video because they're going to die and be like, oh my God, mom, really? Seriously? But, oh well, you know, I tell them, hey, when you birth the child, you get that right. I get the right to embarrass you. I get the right to cry. I get the right to do whatever the hell I want, really, because I'm the boss, Apple's boss. I'm mama. I brought you in. Don't mind me take you out. Anyways, y'all have a wonderful night. I love you guys. I'll try to update more, do more boring videos like this, but I love you guys so much. Mwah, mwah. Mm-hmm.